sponsored by Milanote. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and you are watching my small business makeover series. The series where I take untouched, forgotten office spaces and turn them into something beautiful, stylish, and super inspiring for small business owners and entrepreneurs. Oh my gosh. Welcome to my office. Look how chaotic I look. <laughs> I am obsessed. Chef's kiss. I'm having a hot flash, I'm so excited. Let's get started. Today's small business makeover, I'm tackling the office space of Euclid Farms, a beautiful flower shop in downtown Toronto. Euclid Farms was started by Shannon and her storefront, her brick and mortar business was started a year ago. But before that, Shannon was running her business out of her home. Shannon was growing flowers in her apartment. She was starting seeds in her apartment, then harvests them and she has finally moved to this beautiful, beautiful space. She also sells a lot of dried flowers, antique vases. It's just truly like a pleasure to walk into her store. So ironically, the space that Shannon uses most for herself and her business has been completely kind of untouched and forgotten. It's at the very, very back of the store, so customers don't see it, but it's Shannon's office space. And right now it's kind of a dumping ground for a lot of overflow flowers. She's kind of started to decorate it, but then focused her energy on actually, you know, running her business. So Shannon contacted me and said, hey, do you wanna to work together? Do you wanna to make over the space for me? And instantly I was like, yes, I would be, I'd be honored. I've been such a fan of Euclid for so long. So she wants this space to be a space that she can feel good about bringing clients in, a space where she can work after hours, do admin work on her computer. My task is to make it beautiful, inspiring, and a place that Shannon feels proud of. When designing a space, you guys know, I always suggest by starting out with a mood board. And once again, I'm using my favorite tool to plan, and that is Milanote, who happens to be today's sponsor. Milanote is a project management tool for creatives that allows you to organize every element of your projects in a very flexible and visual way. In addition to my mood boards, I use Milanote to organize product lists, measurements, photos, and more of the spaces I take on to make over. It's honestly changed the way I plan. I no longer have 18 tabs open on my computer. It's just the perfect way to have everything in one place. One of my most favorite things about Milanote is the Chrome extension tool. So this is a tool that allows you to save products or Pinterest inspo images. As you'll see here, I just click the little Milanote button and it automatically imports into the Euclid makeover board. So that way, when I come back to this project in a couple days, everything I've kind of searched for and found and loved is in one place. I can also share the board, which means that my team and I can collaborate on the makeover, make notes, to-do lists, action items we need to accomplish, and it makes it so much easier to plan. I truly cannot say enough good things about Milanote, and if this sounds like something you'd be interested in, I've linked Milanote down below so you can sign up for a free account and get planning. It's time to head to Euclid and I'm going to show you what I've planned and what I'm thinking for this space. Hi guys. So I am back at Euclid Farm. Shannon is going to meet clients here once everything starts to open up again. She has a desk here so this is going to double as her office and then here on either side we're thinking it would be great to put some chairs and that's where clients can sit and meet with her. She also needs a place to store things. You'll see this shelf is all open storage. There's bags, there's boxes, just things she needs to actually run the store. So we need closed storage. I'm thinking of doing Ikea Pax wardrobes. I love Ikea Pax wardrobes because there's so many shelves, drawers, you can totally customize it to your needs. And then I'm thinking of putting custom doors on them. So I found these on Superfront and the green is just so nice. And I feel like ties in so well with Euclid's brand and the pink color that's already on the walls. I think it's gonna look amazing. This desk is vintage. Shannon found it and it is beautiful. I think it's perfect. This is stay 
thing. Also, the windows let in so much light, but Shannon was like, we need to cover them with something because when there's clients here, she doesn't want them to see like the storage in the back. Buckets for flowers, the garbage bins, like just, you know, it's not nice for clients to see that. So what we're thinking is when there's not clients here, she can keep the Roman shades up and when there are, she can keep them down. Also, she started a gallery wall back here, which is great. She has all the frames but there's no pictures in here. And I also think we can make this more of a statement wall. So I'm thinking we use this wallpaper. It's floral. It's very just in line with this whole store, obviously. This light is so beautiful. It's just perfect. So we're gonna keep that light here for sure. The thing we are not sure about is the floors. I had the idea to do that awesome peel and stick vinyl that I used in my bathroom. TBD. I'm gonna talk through it with Shannon and see what she thinks, but I'm thinking that's the best, that's the best bet for now. Feels like a massive undertaking, but I actually think we just need a few things to, to pull it together. Okay guys, it is day one. Today is really just a day where we try and get as much done as possible. We are gonna start with these floors. So we are putting down some peel and stick flooring. It's just an easy way to make these floors look so much better and decorative. We have Graham with us today. We're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. So I ended up going with the peel and stick flooring rather than the rug. I talked to Shannon about it and we both agreed that this peel and stick flooring was the perfect kind of in between. We didn't want to put down new floors that would have cost a fortune. Fortune? 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 What did I say? You had another moment. <laughs> you said a fortune. A fortune? And also, truthfully, Shannon was like, just get rid of the vinyl floor. Like, I don't, I don't like it. I use this peel and stick floor in my bathroom, the treehouse bathroom, and it held up for over a year. It's probably still going. They never warped, peeled up. They were just like perfect. So I feel like this is the perfect DIY solution for this space. And down the line, if Shannon ever wants to put down new floors, she can just peel the peel and stick floor up or even put hardwood floor on top of it. Yeah! <laughs> I'm so excited. We put one square down and I'm like, bye, I can go now, see you. That's when I know it's gonna be a good makeover, when like the first, the first thing we add just like makes such a difference. Oh, it's so good! This floor is from Quadro Style. They also have awesome backsplash. I will link them down below. Peel and stick flooring is really easy to install. It's a bit time consuming if you're working with a large area like we are, but it's very user friendly. Like anyone can install peel and stick flooring. It's definitely best applied with two people, which is why I'm very thankful that Graham is here. Just like wallpaper, you want a second set of hands. Don't, don't try and attempt peel and stick flooring by yourself. <laughs> For these last panels, we are going to measure them and cut them to size before we lay them down. It'll just be way easier to stick them down. So we're gonna use a level, an X-Acto, and then we'll be done. Wait, hang it. I, I didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> The floor is done and now it's time to hang wallpaper. Shannon was like, do whatever you want in this space, but the one thing I really want is this floral wallpaper on the back wall. I was so up for it, it works so well with the existing pink walls, and I'm so excited to get it up. So this wallpaper is beautiful, we love it, but it weirdly came with white on either side of each panel. The wallpaper company does this because they have a method that you should follow to hang wallpaper. I don't think it's like the best method ever. Neither does Graham. <laughs> like it's actually really cumbersome and you're never going to get a straight line. So, suddenly had an idea, the light bulb went off over my head. If it looks really wonky, we could just add molding to the wall and like frame each panel with some molding. I think it'll look cool. It'll add like another element to the room. We're gonna make the call after we install the paper. We might be able to hide the uneven edges with the pattern itself, but TBD. Hi guys, it is day two. 
makeover day when this whole project comes together. Yesterday I had mentioned that we were thinking of doing paneling along this wall and I think that is still the game plan. I think it's going to be a really beautiful focal point. I love how these boards are kind of like farmhousey style. This wallpaper, I would just not recommend anyone purchase. <laughs> Grim is off camera shaking his head. It's not user friendly. The lines are just not clean. So I think this paneling is kind of a happy accident because it's gonna look really great and add a different element to this room, but also help us just hide the really uneven edges. Putting on my sunglasses because I don't have safety goggles. <laughs> Just to recap, this wallpaper sucks. <laughs> I'm not sure if the peel and stick version would be better and come pre-cut, but because these panels are so long, cutting this straight with any kind of tool is literally impossible. Graham thought like maybe a table saw would work, but who wants to cut wallpaper with a table saw? Like it's just not super user friendly. In decorating, there's lots of happy accidents and this was one that actually really worked out, it looks good. We are literally using two by fours that are MDF pre-primed, pre-painted, and just using a nail gun to attach them to the wall. I really think that this combo of wall molding and wallpaper really work together. And the wall molding just like elevates this wallpaper so much and looks very farmhouse. Love this molding. It looks so good. Very country, very like this is a flower shop. Whenever you install molding, you are obviously going to want to cover the nails. So we're using some spackle for that. Cool people use their fingers to put spackle on the walls. We're gonna sand it down, give all the trim a coat of white paint. And then we're gonna go into the sides and use some caulking. This wall is very old, very uneven. So some of the panels are bowing a little bit. So there's gaps between the paneling and the wallpaper. So the caulking is just going to make it look really clean. It's like one big happy painting family. Yep. And Alexander's here with us behind the scenes. Yay. I have to say my team is the best of the best. She's only saying that because it's on the camera. No, I'm not. <laughs> These are my favorite shorts. What happened? That she wore well. That's all I mean. No. Graham fits right in well. here. <laughs> she deserved it, right, Graham? Not deserved it, but it's just, you know, you got to expect when you're painting, you're going to get paint on yourself. That's just what happens. That's just what happened. You know what, everyone? <laughs> now that my shorts are ruined, it's time to move on to the storage for this space. Do you guys remember the open cabinet on the back wall? It was piled with things. It was a little chaotic. So we are going to change that today, right now. I knew that Shannon needed storage, but we're going for something with closed doors. She's gonna purge some of the stuff that was in that cabinet just to make sure everything fits in this one and that she can have closed doors. I'm gonna jazz it up a little bit. This is a really beautiful, simple Ikea cabinet and I'm gonna paint it green. Who chose the green? So whenever you're painting Ikea furniture, especially if it has that like glossy laminate finish, the first thing you wanna do is give it a quick sand. You wanna scuff it up a little bit. Then you wanna go in with a really heavy duty primer. <laughs> look how chaotic I look. <laughs> so I'm just washing with a damp cloth all the, all the dust from the sander. Can I paint your camera like this? Your camera. So now I'm just going in with my primer. I wish you guys could feel it because it just doesn't feel like glossy IKEA furniture anymore. And this is gonna give us a really good base to paint over. And it'll stick way better too. This is the same green we used in Sarah's kitchen. I can't believe that makeover was over a year ago. I've linked the color down below and I'm also gonna link that makeover up here. It's such a pretty green. It's almost like a neutral. Like it's colorful, but it's also neutral at the same time. It is so hot outside, you guys. Second coat going on. It's so nice. I'm gonna do my oldest trick in the book change the knobs. So these came with like standard silver knobs. I'm putting these gorgeous leather pulls on. How cute. That was a question specifically for you. Uh, it's semi-cute, I guess. Okay. 
It's hot. It's so hot. What is this dance? My hot dance. <laughs> we are going to flip this cabinet. We're gonna flip it up. Flip it. Flip it. Real. Not my hair. The cabinet. <laughs> I'm just gonna touch up some of the paint. It's obviously gonna be blotchy, but it's gonna dry really nicely. This was such an easy DIY. It looks so custom. I love it. On the molding, I'm gonna be hanging some photos. I've seen people do this before, and I really like the look. It feels different than just covering the wallpaper and putting them where everyone expects me to put them. So these are photos that Shannon sent me of her flowers being used in weddings. And the cool thing about this is that she can just keep adding them if she wants. I'm gonna start with three, keep it minimal, and just kind of let her put the pictures up that she wants to put up as her business grows. Wow, you're like a handy woman. I'm like really good at handiwork. <laughs> We got these Roman shades custom made, which full disclosure, that is expensive and time consuming. It's not like a quick fix, but for windows that are this large and any regular size, custom Roman shades were the only way to go. I'm loving how it's all coming together. I also wanted to mention that I am intentionally mixing and matching patterns. I love mixing patterns. I think it's so fun. And I think the key is to find a color that is kind of woven throughout the space. So this off-white color is in the floor, so even though they're two different patterns, it feels like they work together. I am obsessed with these, obsessed. We're just gonna start clearing things out, placing the furniture back to its original place and adding in those final finishing touches. I feel like my face is melting off, but you know. Graham is replacing the light switches and the light plates. This is my new favorite hack because it is such a simple change. Just makes it feel so luxe without dropping a ton of money or time to make the switch. We're adding this beautiful green velvet desk chair because everyone deserves a velvet desk chair. And then across from the desk, we wanna put in two chairs for clients. So when Shannon has clients over, two people can sit across. I got these dining chairs from Article. They're stunning dining chairs. I'm like eyeing them and I'm like, do I need these in my house? Probably. Cute. This feels like very profesh. Even your garbage can should be cute. This one's from Umbra. Super simple, but ties in with all the gold accents we have going on here. And now I'm gonna shop Shannon's beautiful store and add in all those final finishing touches. The makeover is done. I cannot believe we did that in two days in like the humidity and this tiny back room, but my team is the best. We made it all happen. I always get so nervous when it comes to these reveals because these small business owners, just like Shannon, deserve so much. And I always wanna make these spaces so special for them. So I hope she loves it. Let's bring her in. Do not open until I tell you to. <laughs> I'm like really nervous. Sweaty. Okay. okay. I want you the picture. What this office looked like before. Yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> you built something so beautiful, so incredible, and I'm just honored that you asked me to be a tiny bit a part of it. Okay, I'm like all of a sudden so nervous. I'm nervous. Oh my god. One, two, three. I can't believe how 
big it feels. Oh my gosh, did you know that those are my best friends? No, those are my best friends. <laughs> you picked the photo of like my friends that I grew up with. And I always said I would put a big photo of them in my office. I love it. I'm, so I, I'm just like so overwhelmed. You really truly deserve it. Thank you. Oh, I love to hug you. Yeah. Guys I know. I don't so know. There you guys have it. I really hope you enjoyed this makeover. I'm so happy Shannon loved it. I'm always on the hunt for small business spaces to make over and I would love to be able to travel to the States or outside of Canada, but for now we're kind of limited to Toronto. So I'd love to know who you think deserves an office transformation in the comments down below. Thank you again to Milanote for sponsoring this video. I love working with Milanote and I know you guys are gonna love using this planning program just as much as I do. If you want to sign up for a free account, the link is in my description box below. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye!